job, that's Kyler Murray. Because mm -hmm. all of us were ready, myself included, were ready to crown the Rams. Yep. I saw him get ran on yesterday. Wasn't Edmonds run 10 yards of carry? Did, did, did I see that oh, yeah. happening? And not did, only did that, AJ scored Green. two touchdowns. Did AJ Connor Green two is touchdowns? back. Like, AJ and, Green going to the Cardinals did not make headlines, but he is every single week, it seems like he has five catches for 100 yards every week. Well, last, well, last year he was coming back from an injury, and they had Joe Burrow, and Joe Burrow got injured. I was trying to wonder if he was washed or not. So he ended up going there, resurrecting himself. Our guy D-Hop is going to always be a threat. But anytime mm -hmm. you're able to run against a team that has Aaron Donald on the defensive line on the other side, extremely impressive. And so, yes, whenever you're selling with the Cardinals stock, because they have Joe Pesci, I'm buying. <laughs> I love the Joe Pesci nickname. Two other teams in the NFC that look to be Super Bowl contenders faced off yesterday in week four. And, of course, I'm talking about the Seattle Seahawks and the Niners. And it was Russell Wilson and the Seahawks getting a much-needed win in the Bay Area. What do you think about the Seahawks? I think Metcalf is a locomotive, literally. That, that's one thing. The other thing is, as we start talking about, like, game-changing players in the league, how about the fact that Russell Wilson, at this point of his career, has 100 wins only Peyton Manning has had that number of wins in their first 10 seasons, and he's never gotten a single MVP vote. How about that? We, we discuss rookie quarterbacks all the time on this program, and one that we don't discuss that much is Trey Lance, who finally got an opportunity because Garoppolo went down with a calf injury. He looked pretty good. What do you think of Trey Lance? His size and stature and the way he glides in a lot of ways, it reminds me of Colin Kaepernick in particular Ooh. playing for that team because you and I were there when Kaepernick in the, played against, the 49ers played against the Ravens in the Super Bowl. And I yep. was just thinking, once he got his opportunity, being a dual threat, something that they haven't had since he was under center for that team. He just gives them a different element of, than Garoppolo does based on his athleticism. Well, an athletic quarterback they certainly have in Baltimore with the Ravens. They played the Broncos, and Lamar Jackson did what Lamar Jackson yeah. does. What do you think about him throwing and running all over the Broncos? I just love the fact that the quarterback position has evolved to take advantage of strengths at the quarterback position that used to be considered weaknesses, like Kyler Murray and Russell Wilson's height. The way Lamar Jackson is able to run, like being able to take advantage of these players really puts the defense at such a, a crazy disadvantage when these guys get going. Like he's spreading the ball around now. Like mm -hmm. Lamar Jackson, people always talk about his running because he's so very spectacular about it. But he's also throwing the ball and doing it with accuracy and efficiency as well. And the Denver Broncos always play tough defensively. They did, but Lamar Jackson reestablished himself as one of the best quarterbacks in not just the AFC, but the NFL. And Mr. Rose, there are two veteran quarterbacks that faced off yesterday that seem to be headed in two very different directions. And of course, I'm talking about Ben Roethlisberger and that man, Aaron Rodgers. Jalen, what do you think about Rodgers playing so well and Roethlisberger looking like he might be at the end of his career? And to me, that's the bigger story. The Pittsburgh Steelers started off 11-0 last year. And mm -hmm. they basically struggled since then. And they continue to struggle running the football. Big Ben has never been mobile. But his ability to kind of shrug his shoulders and be big in the pocket and throw tacklers off, now they sticking like Velcro to that jersey, dog. So it's going to be interesting to see how the Pittsburgh Steelers remedy this. Do you mm -hmm. now turn around? And big bench, Big Ben at this point of his career, Claypool wasn't in there. Juju nope. Smith-Schuster came back on a one-year deal. He's not lighting it up so far this year. They had to watch Connor go elsewhere and score two touchdowns yesterday. It's going to be interesting to see what Mike Tomlin does. If you are the Pittsburgh Steelers, do you try to go with Dwayne Haskins over Ben Roethlisberger at this junction in the season? No, not at this juncture of the season. 
because once you do that move, you can't go back to being, and he's established so much equity with that franchise being there almost two decades. I think it's, and respectfully, at this point of his career with this history of injury, you don't anticipate he's going to play all 17 games anyway. So based on that, you know you're going to get an opportunity to get Haskins in there if you want to try it. There are a lot of good teams in the NFC, and we discussed Aaron Rodgers all offseason long. And after they lost to the Saints, I wrote them off in week one, but they <laughs> look pretty good. Are they the top of the class in the NFC, in your opinion? You know what I like about the NFC? You get a chance to ask that question about a few teams. A lot of asking handful. it about the Rams. You know the Dallas Cowboys Cardinals. are going to throw a parade today. We mm -hmm. asked it about the Cardinals. You talk about the Buccaneers, the defending champions, the, the, the Green Bay Packers, as you just acknowledged. Absolutely. They have Aaron Rodgers. They have Devontae Adams. They have Jones in the backfield. And Matt LaFleur needs to start getting his credit. He needs to start getting the love that I see from Sean McVay and Shanahan. I think he's in the category of those guys, and Aaron Rodgers' continued greatness helps elevate that conversation. Jalen, we always overhype the Cowboys.